Hi, I'm Richard Holcomb, and welcome to Who Rocks New Mexico? Today you'll meet some lovely folks living at Beehive Homes and see why we call them America's greatest generation. Then we'll head north to meet the master of the Taos art community, Charles Collins. And we'll take a tour of the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. But first, Griffin & Associates has embraced new media and they're seeing dramatic results for their clients. So the world has moved to this device, and the stats are showing that by the year 2020, which is dangerously close, six years from now, over 85% of the world will be using this. And what that means is more and more people today are getting all their information, they're finding your business, they're finding your nonprofit, they're finding your event on a screen this size. So the world really has moved away from the PC and to the phone. So the first thing that every business needs to make sure is that their website is responsive and works well on a screen that is that small. So the last thing you want is people to have to sit there on their device and try to make it bigger so they can read it because if it's too much trouble, guess what? They're going to be on to the next competitor. So one of our smaller clients, Land of Enchantment Spine Surgery, in looking at all their Google Analytics, we were really able to get in there and determine that over 60% of all the searches to their site, their traditional display site, was happening through mobile devices. In response to that, we went ahead and built out um, a responsive site for Lanham Enchantment Spine. And the site is, a, is, is an exact mirror of anything that you would be exposed to um, on the display side. You also can search it um, with your mobile device as well. And we've noticed since we went to the responsive um, site for um, Land, of Land of Enchantment Spine Surgery, that um, traffic to the website has gone up, the number of pages viewed has uh, skyrocketed, and then also the average uh, site duration has uh, is well over three to five minutes. Everything really is online today, and that is great news because we can hone in and target the exact audience that we're trying to reach. So in the old days when I was in school 30 years ago, it was all about reaching the masses. So advertising was all about how many millions of impressions are you getting? And you spent millions of dollars to reach those millions of people. Today, we can hone in and reach the thousand people or the hundred people or the 10 people or the one person that you're wanting to reach. And you're only gonna pay to reach that person. One of the major tools that we've been using in uh, the kind of new media world is Facebook advertising, LinkedIn advertising. What's really cool about those things is that they're highly targeted and you're speaking to just the audience that you want to be speaking to. You can target by zip code, by city, by state. It's really neat all the stuff that you can do now and all of the analytics that Facebook has in the back end allows you to see what's working and what's not. One of the clients that we've had a lot of success with is the town of Taos. We have a sign up on their website. We also have a sign up at the visitor center so people can opt into the list. And we average about 15 to 20 percent opening rate with that and probably 10 percent click-through rate. So in today's world the media is changing so quickly and what I find for a lot of businesses and business people that I talk to is they're completely overwhelmed. They're stymied. It's like oh my god do I Twitter, do I Facebook, do I buy social media, do I get a responsive website, do I buy uh, bathroom stall advertising. I'm just like I don't know where to go next. So if you find yourself in that position let us talk to you. We always give a complimentary consultation. We can take a look at your business and your organization and help you sort through all the options and figure out what is the best plan for you. Each March, firefighters and law enforcement from around New Mexico band together to raise money to help children fighting cancer. Hi, I'm Brian Bird. I'm the uh, event organizer for the New Mexico Firefighters event, and I'm with Santa Fe Fire. Paul Beers, Deputy Chief for Rio Rancho Fire Rescue. Angel Alvarado with Bernalillo County Fire Department. Ryan Zamora and Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department. Crystal Martinez. Well, I can't tell you my real name, but my name, uh, everybody knows me as Spider-Man. Sean Williams with Bernalillo County Fire Department. This is the New Mexico Firefighters event for the St. Baldur's Foundation. 
So we have uh, fire departments, we have police officers, we have e emergency services personnel that have all donated their heads to get shaved in solidarity with kids who are going through cancer research. We've raised over a quarter of a million dollars in the last eight years with this event and it's because of all the volunteers you see here. We brought the ladder truck to Tower 36, so it's great to see all the people coming in and all the fanfare and show that goes on and then raising the money of course is the whole purpose. My buddy and I kind of started it as a joke, we we're going our hair out and just decided since we were going out as a joke we might as well get some money donated for the kids that have cancer and need help and stuff like that. I think it's a lot about giving back to kids especially. Um, our group, Comic Crusaders for New Mexico, we're um, all about kids and doing what we can for them, especially kids who are in tough situations, dealing with a lot of things that most kids don't have to deal with. I do this uh, every year for the past 10 years, this is my 10th year for my uh, my cousin Kevin Hall that passed away at the age of 13 with uh, leukemia. My daughter fell ill a year and a half ago in November and we lost her July 22nd, seven and a half months ago. And um, during the search for a bone marrow match for her, she made us all promise that we would continue to do this, continue the effort so that no other family would have to fill what we've been through the last year and a half. Up next, compassion, dignity, and a loving home. I don't trust just anybody to work on this baby. That's why I bring my truck to American Tire and Service. They're my guys. New tires? Why go anywhere else? I head straight to American Tire. I know I'm in good hands with my guys. Safety comes first for me. With kids in the car, the brakes better work just right. That's why I bring my car to American Tire. They're my guys. With my job, I drive all over the state. American Tire and Service keeps us running. These are our guys. Make, Make them your guys, guys too. too. What you don't need when it's time to close your mortgage is a nameless, faceless voice at the other end of a 1-800 number. What you do need is a licensed local loan officer who will attend your closing, sit with you and answer every one of the questions that you will surely have as you read and sign over 57 legal documents. At Frost Mortgage, we're licensed, we're professional, and we're local. We don't just close loans, we open doors. what every child deserves. To be safe in our home. Food and clothes. Not to be hurt. A good education. To grow up with our brothers and sisters. To be loved, valued, and respected. El Ranchito is a loving and stable children's home where brothers and sisters can live together as they grow into adulthood or until they can be reunited with their families. With your help, El Ranchito de los Niños will continue its mission for years to come. Learn how you can help. Call us today. Schedule your next golf outing or tournament at Sierra Del Rio Golf Course, just off I-25 between Albuquerque and Las Cruces. Ranked as one of New Mexico's top 10 courses and featuring golf legend Guy Wimberly as director of golf, Sierra Del Rio offers exceptional year-round play. Elevated tee boxes, lakes, and challenging greens will bring you back again and again to this magnificent course. Come for a round with friends, take advantage of a stay-and-play package, or book your upcoming tournament at Sierra Del Rio. Learn more at SierraDelRioGolf.com. As we and our loved ones age, it's heartwarming to know that there are caregivers like Beehive Homes, providing a compassionate, loving environment for the elderly to live in dignity. Nineteen eighteen. So that tells you how old I am. I had to put mom in a nursing home. I didn't want to do it, but I did. But uh, and back in uh, March, I believe it was, they called me one Saturday morning. They had to send her to ER. She was dying of congestive heart failure. I made the decision to send her to Lubbock. In four days, she got to come home. Well, when she gets to this other place again, they put her in bed and they claim that two weeks is all she's got. They wouldn't get her up and they wasn't doing her any good, not any good at all. And I just met with him over at the other facility and I met her. Um, I knew within five seconds of walking in the room that there was absolutely no way that I should leave her there. 
Um, I could see that I could do it. Um, I saw the potential. Um, sometimes you just have that instinct that you know that you can help. She gets over here, in a short period of time, she's up walking around. The folks here at Beehive Homes have been just wonderful. Just wonderful. They, they've got her up, they've got her walking, she's doing well, and she has in a long time, and she doesn't use oxygen anymore, and she just, she has a wonderful time here. Now don't ask me names, because that's something I can't remember. I never could remember names, it's not old age, it's just never remember. <laughs> well, it's kind of like home. They just treat you nice, treat you like family. They feed you well, more than I need, more than I want. My favorite food, ice cream. All of them, but I like chocolate. Oh, when she first arrived, she seemed like she was depressed. She didn't want to get out of bed. She was used to being in bed. She was afraid to be a bother to us. Yes. And we had to um, reiterate to her daily, this is what we do, this is what we're here for, we want you to be part of it. And like Sandra said, that's when she started coming out more. The miracle was worked with mom. Of course, it come from God, but God give all these wonderful ladies the talents they've got to do things like this. The ladies here are just fantastic at Beehive Homes. They are just super fantastic. Openings now available in our Hobbs home. The Indian Pueblo Cultural Center is an exciting destination for tourists and locals. From our amazing cuisine to our ever-changing exhibits, events, and dances, you'll love every minute you spend with us. So let's take a look. The Pueblo Harvest Cafe will bring you back again and again for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Enjoy Native American foods, New Mexican favorites, and tempting drinks, all in a beautiful setting with live music on the patio every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening throughout the spring and summer months. For personal treasures and unique gifts, you'll enjoy the Shumakolowa Gift Shop. It's filled with traditional and contemporary arts and crafts by artisans from our 19 New Mexico Pueblos. Our courtyard is home to Native American dances from various Pueblos, every weekend year-round, providing you with amazing photo opportunities as you take in the sights and sounds you'll remember for a lifetime. Walk back through generations of history, art, and culture, dramatically brought to life in our lower level museum. See pottery and artifacts dating back more than a thousand years as you discover rich nuggets of information about early inhabitants of New Mexico. You can further explore New Mexico's Native American culture, history, and language in our permanent collections exhibitions, where you'll learn fascinating details about our 19 Pueblo tribes. You'll also enjoy our ever-changing Native American art, educational, and historical displays in the halls of our Avanu Gallery. You'll want to check our calendar frequently for year-round events and exhibitions, including arts and crafts shows, fashion show, and more, giving you more reasons to visit us here at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. Parking is free. Banquet and meeting rooms are available. Our Four Winds Travel Center is conveniently located on the grounds and our Holiday Inn and Suites is just across the street. We invite you to explore, learn, enjoy, shop, and dine with us at this wonderful special place called the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. Coming up, the Charles Collins Art Gallery. to invite you to First Tuesdays, a networking event created specifically for business owners and executives. Giving you the opportunity to interact on a personal level with business people just like you. 4.30 to 6.30 at Hotel Albuquerque's Q Bar for free hors d'oeuvres, happy hour cash bar, and networking with fellow business owners and executives. It's new, it's social, it's your opportunity to make new connections, build relationships, and share new ideas with your peers. No pressure, no speakers, 
no roster and no rules. And name tags with first names only, so the focus is on you rather than your company. It's First Tuesdays for business owners and executives, 4.30 to 6.30 at Hotel Albuquerque's Q Bar. To register, visit firsttuesdaysabq.com. Be there! Need office space? 3791 Southern Boulevard in Rio Rancho represents an outstanding value in office space in the heart of Rio Rancho's business district. With clean and versatile space available, 3791 Southern Boulevard is a two-story office building and offers good visibility with signage opportunities for tenants. There's only one suite of up to 2,700 square feet still available, so act now. For more information, call David at 505-259-3706. Looking for something fun to do in Albuquerque? Look no further. ABQ365.com is your resource for things to do in ABQ. From food and wine to local culture to sporting events, ABQ365 has something for you to do every day of the year. Check out the 365 days of events. Get out and enjoy all that Albuquerque has to offer. Go to ABQ365.com and make your plans today. He's a sculptor, painter, and some say even a mystic. You be the judge. Meet Charles Collins, a Taos art master. Charles Collins is the most awarded artist in the history of the Taos Fall Arts Festival. His works were selected for a prestigious showing at the New Mexico Governor's Gallery, where former Governor Gary Johnson proclaimed a Charles Collins Day throughout New Mexico in his honor. He has been officially claimed a Taos master by the Millicent Rogers Museum and was selected as the inaugural artist by Arlo Guthrie for the Guthrie Center in Massachusetts. I was a little kid and I knew that I was going to be an artist. My mother was an artist and it just seemed to be the right thing to do. My art conveys the interconnectedness of all life on the planet and I feel as though that's the whole point of my art is the interconnectedness of all life and all beauty and all the cultures. I moved here in 1976 and was attracted to Taos because it was an art colony and because there was a pottery here for sale. And I was a potter at the time and a painter. Sculpture is a very demanding medium and so is painting, but physically the sculpture sometimes really is very difficult to work in, but you, have, you push through and create something that's never been created before. One of my favorite pieces is this bronze sculpture of Lincoln the mastermind piece, and it represents, of course, how he united the whole country and he had this unshakable vision. And it's about how we all fit together as Americans. Now, this is a wax for my newest piece that hasn't even gone into bronze yet. And it's the face of William Shakespeare and it's about the mastermind of literature. And I've chosen his play, Julius Caesar, to represent his mastermind. This is Caesar and he has the traditional sword of Rome, and the helmet is the traditional helmet, and on his back is the um, coat of arms for William Shakespeare that he designed himself. In the center of the shield diagonally is a jousting lance with a pen quill on the tip, and on the top is an eagle holding the jousting lance with the pen quill. And then this is Mark Anthony, who was also Cleopatra's husband. And on his back is the cartouche for Cleopatra and the Egyptian symbols. And then the center figure is Cleopatra herself with the crown of Isis and the cobras that represent Upper and Lower Egypt. The Christ sculpture is of course about the mastermind of Christianity. And it was actually the whole concept for the mastermind collection, the paintings and everything. When he said, were two or more gathered in my name, there am I in their midst also. And that's what that sculpture group is about. There's Simon Peter, who's a carrying a basket full of fish. And there's John, who's carrying a basket full of bread. And then of course, Mother Mary in prayer for humanity. Well, I think everything comes in layers. It's, it's, it's like the sun rises and the light becomes brighter and brighter and brighter. And 
through different shadows and filters, you begin to see different images. And the light becomes to a certain place and it's like, that's it. It's, it is again about the power of love because art creates something different and if it's done in the right way, the vibration of the art it's like having a presence in your house or in your room. And it, it's such a wonderful thing. It's to bring joy. And that's what my gallery is about too, is to bring joy to people who come in and to share it with them. Coming up next, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Hi, I'm Michael Newman, host of New Mexico True Television, which airs immediately after Who Rocks. Here's a preview of what you'll see throughout the year on our show. A great part of traveling in our state are the countless scenic drives you can take, and the Enchanted Circle is one of them. The eastern gateway to the scenic byway is the quaint town of Eagle Nest, and the neighboring lake sharing its name. The main street of town and the historic Laguna Saloon welcome you and give visitors a taste of Old West Americana. And just outside of town, with wildflowers on its shores and fish swimming in its waters, Eagle Nest Lake beckons you to pull over for fishing or a picnic. Continuing south of New Mexico 64, you will find the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, the United States' first memorial to Vietnam War veterans. Built by the mourning parents of a fallen soldier, this chapel honors their son and pays tribute to the sacrifices of all Vietnam veterans. Marine First Lieutenant David Westfall was one of 16 young men in his unit killed in an ambush on May 22, 1968 in Vietnam, and this site keeps his memory alive. The work his parents put into the memorial here in the Enchanted Circle helped inspire the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. A peaceful and emotional place, the chapel is worthy of a visit by all. We are traveling all over New Mexico to show you all the great places to spend a few hours or a few days, perhaps places you didn't even know existed in the land of enchantment. So join us in just a few minutes right here on KLB4, immediately following Who Rocks New Mexico, for another great episode of New Mexico True Television. Hi, I'm Doug Wilson with American Tire and Service. Did you know any independent, reputable automotive repair center can provide factory scheduled maintenance under your new vehicle warranty? It's true, you don't need to go to the dealer. You know us, you trust us. So check your owner's manual for scheduled maintenance and let your guys at American Tire do the rest. Engine maintenance, transmission, tire rotation, any scheduled maintenance. American Tire and Service, your guys for all your vehicle maintenance and repairs. See us today. Hi. I just saw Robert Wagner on television reading a script about reverse mortgages. You know, Robert doesn't know anything about reverse mortgages, but I do. Every month at Frost Mortgage, we loan hundreds of thousands of dollars to seniors to eliminate their mortgage payments for the rest of their lives. How much better would your life be if you didn't have a mortgage payment to make next month? If you're 62 or older, give us a call and we'll show you how this wonderful mortgage program works. There are many dentists around New Mexico, many of whom offer similar services. So what makes Dr. Greg Lepore of Smiles by Design so different? Well, you're about to see. You know, I don't think it's so much as like trying to separate us from other people because there's a lot of good dentists here in Albuquerque who are lucky. And I would say the reason that I would choose Smiles by Design uh, would be uh, their pursuit for excellence that we, uh, at every moment, we're not perfect, but we strive for that perfection. We work every day as a team, so people have a pleasant experience. That's my goal for each person to come in here, that they have a wonderful experience, and that they feel good about where they've been, and that they want to pass that on to other people. Uh, we are a locally owned business. Uh, my wife Paige and I own the, own the business. Um, we're not franchised. Um, we care a lot about what goes on here. We take personal you know, obviously responsibility like you would anything else that you own. I started my dental work over a year and a half ago with Dr. Lepore and I really felt comfortable, safe, very informed on everything they did and I actually looked forward to coming to my mini visits. I am so glad I came to Dr. Lepore to get my teeth done because after all, look at the results, isn't this incredible? I had extensive work done and it took him a while for me to 
get convinced that I really needed to do it and I'm glad he did. The goal for our patients is total oral health, meaning that they're healthy. We like to say we have the healthiest patients in town. And what I mean by that is it's our job to keep you, the patient, out of the dental chair. I think one thing that's really important that people don't have uh, any idea how easy dentistry can be and how painless it is and the advances that we've made in dentistry. We want to be proactive and not reactive, meaning catch things when they're simple and easy, take care of them then before they become you know, something that much more expensive later down the line. It's all about the patients here. It's all about prevention and making sure that not only that your mouth is healthy, but that overall as, a, as an individual you're healthy. I really enjoy working chairside with patients and educating them on the importance of oral care and dental hygiene. We're passionate about what we do. I love what I do. My staff uh, is passionate about what they do. Uh, we want to help people. At each new patient appointment or consult, I take time out of my schedule to personally visit with a patient. and That gives me the ability to talk to people and find out exactly where they're coming from and where they've been and what they may need. Experience with Dr. Lepore is, uh, is fantastic. Uh, he does his work with care, precision. He treats you like a family member. I think anybody that goes in the, into the dentist chair wants someone there uh, to make sure you're treated like family. You know, we have an idea of health that we want each person to have because we know how important oral health is. But oftentimes, they don't necessarily want to go there right away. They, they want to go at their pace. And so I always say that we're into the navigators um, and they're the captain of the ship. I've been a patient of uh, Greg Lepore's for uh, three to four years. Uh, he did total mouth reconstruction on me. Uh, smiles by design have given me my smile back and give me uh, confidence to uh, get in front of people again and uh, not sit, be uh, so ashamed of my smile and, and uh, the uh, bad teeth that I had at one time. You know, I honestly believe my staff is one of the best in the industry or in the dentistry. And uh, we spend a lot of time uh, teaching them our philosophies and I think they understand that and they know that very well. And through that they can take better care of our patients. And our patients, it's really important to develop this partnership and a lifelong relationship with them. One of our goals is to uh, let people know how much they can appreciate their smile, how much we can do to improve their smile so that they can really enjoy it for a lifetime. It's about seeing that change in that individual, to see their mouth go from maybe unhealthiness or having some disease to where they're happy and, and healthy. So, um, you know, we're committed to that and we work with them closely. My name is Laura and I'm a dental technician here in the office and I've been with Dr. Lepore for 17 years. The thing I like most is being able to give somebody confidence to smile where they may have been self-conscious and not wanted to smile because they dislike something about their teeth. You know, I have to say, I really enjoy coming to work every day. Ultimately, it's because of the patients. You know, to have the interaction with them and to enjoy them, and I know it sounds cliche-ish, um, but that is why we're here. You know, if we don't have the patients, there's no reason to come to work. Um, so, uh, you know, the other reason, I have a wonderful staff, and they bless me every day. I enjoy coming to work. I get to interact with them, and you get to enjoy what you do. Luckily, dentistry is one of my hobbies. Um, and it also happens to be my job. And so uh, hopefully that passion shows um, through all of us. That's all the time we have on this week's show, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. For more information on all the folks you saw today, check us out on the web at whorocksnm.com. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you back here again same time next week for Who Rocks New Mexico.